Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a couple weeks since I got to make a video. Recently at church, I talked about the idea that if the Holy Spirit gets involved with something, things are going to change. Things are going to happen because the Holy Spirit is not unfruitful. If you give the Spirit room to operate, things are going to happen. And this past Sunday, I noticed a passage of scripture that I'd read before but never really got anything out of. I just kind of read it as a transition piece between one chapter and the next. But to preface that, you guys are probably familiar with the woman with the issue of blood. This occurs in Mark chapter 5. And in this story, this woman has a, a health problem. She's been trying to get treated for years. And she hears about Jesus and decides in her mind that if she can just touch Jesus' clothing, she'll be healed. She violates all of her cultural rules and presses through a crowd and touches Jesus' clothing. And when she does that, she's instantly healed. And Jesus turns and says, who touched me? Now, the background here is Jesus was in a huge crowd. Everyone was touching him. And his disciple says, Lord, you're in a huge crowd. People are touching you everywhere. And you ask, who touched me? It would have been an easier question to say, who didn't touch you? That's my wording there. But Jesus said, no, somebody touched me. I felt the virtue go out. And the woman confessed. And Jesus commended her that her faith had made her well. Mark chapter 6 in verse 53 it says when they had crossed over they came to land at Gennesaret and moored to the shore when they got out of the boat immediately the people recognized him and ran about that whole country and began to carry here and there on their pallets those who were sick to the place they heard he was whenever he entered or wherever he entered villages or cities or countryside they were laying the sick in the marketplaces and imploring him that they might just touch the fringe of his cloak and as many as touched it were being cured. In Mark chapter 6, verses 56, everyone that was touching Jesus' clothing was being healed. But in Mark chapter 5, with the woman with the issue of blood, she was the only one that got healed. Why? Well, my pastors explained that with the woman, all the people around that were touching Jesus were touching him as a matter of curiosity. Much like you might touch a singer at a concert as he runs through the aisle or surfs, right? You're not expecting to receive anything. You're just touching him because he's a rock star and he's cool. And you want to be able to say, hey, I touched so-and-so. In this instance, they were touching Jesus like that. But in Mark chapter 6, these people were sick. They were laying the sick out there. And they believed that if they had an encounter with Jesus, if they could but touch his clothing, they would be healed. They gave room for the, the work of the Spirit, the work of God to get involved. They weren't touching him out of curiosity. They were touching him with an expectation to receive. They were touching him with an expectation for change. And we should do the same thing. Every time we have contact with God, we should expect to come away a little bit more like him and a little bit less like our old man. When we get saved, we're made a whole new creature, but we still have to renew our minds. We renew our minds through the word and through time and prayer and worship. So when you're spending time with the Lord, whether it's in prayer or reading the word, expect change to happen. Expect the spirit to work in you. Expect to receive what you need. All right, guys, until next time, see you later.